Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss some important questions on transcription. This is very important topic for CSN NET, ICMR NET, GET, NEET exams. The questions regarding this topic is very important. Some brief notes regarding the questions and their related options are also provided here, which will be beneficial for you. So stay tuned in this video. The first question. Transcription is the transfer of genetic information. Option 1. From DNA to RRNA, that is ribosomal RNA. Option 2. From DNA to mRNA, that is messenger RNA. Option 3. From DNA to tRNA, that is to transfer RNA. Option 4. From tRNA to rRNA. And the answer is option 2, that is from DNA to mRNA. Transcription is the first step in gene trans expression. It involves copying a gene's DNA sequence to make an RNA molecule. RNA polymerase consists of option 1, 4 polypeptide chains, option 2, 3 polypeptide chains, option 3, 5 polypeptide chains, option 4, 2 polypeptide chains and the correct answer is option 3 that is 5 polypeptide chains. In E. coli, RNA polymerase is the multi subunit enzyme that is composed of 5 subunits including 2 alpha subunits, 1 beta, 1 beta dash and 1 omega subunits. These 5 subunits form the RNA epic core enzyme that is responsible for the RNA synthesis using DNA as template and ribonucleotide as the substrate. Next question. The site at which tRNA hydrogen bonded to mRNA molecule is option 1 codon, option 2 anticodon, option 3 dm and option 4 is acceptor arm. And the correct answer is option 2 that is anticodon. And anticodon is a trinucleotide sequences that located at one end of tRNA that is transfer RNA molecule. It is complementary to a corresponding codon in the messenger RNA sequence. Next question. What is the main function of tRNA in relation to protein synthesis? Option 1 is Inhibit protein synthesis. Option 2. Proofreading. Option 3. Identifies amino acid and transport them to ribosome. Option 4. All of the above. And the correct answer is Identifies amino acid and transport them to ribosome. Transfer RNA that is tRNA formally referred to as sRNA that is soluble RNA as an adapter molecule composed of RNA that is typically 76 to 90 nucleotides in length in case of eukaryotes. It serves as a physical link between the mRNA and the amino acid sequence of the protein. Next question. The sigma factor is composed of option 1 RNA polymerase, option 2 DNA polymerase, Option 3 ribonucleus. Option 4 is TNA ligase. And the correct answer is option 1 that is RNA polymerase. Sigma factor in the RNA polymerase holoenzyme complex is required for the initiation of transcription. Although once at the stage is finished, it is dissociated from the complex. And the RNA polymerase continue elongation of its own. Next question. The RNA molecules are option 1 positively charged, option 2 negatively charged, option 3 neutral, option 4 both 1 and 2. And the correct answer is option 2 negatively charged. Nucleic acids that is DNA or RNA are negatively charged due to the presence of phosphate group that is formed during the production of RNA or DNA. 
the presence of negative charge in the phosphate makes the backbone of the nucleic acid that is DNA or RNA negatively charged and hydrophilic. If the template DNA strand has nitrogenous base sequence ATGGCC, then the mRNA produced will have the sequence like option 1 is UACCGG, option 2 TACCGG, option 3 TAGGCC, option 4 is ATGGCC and the correct answer will be option 1 that is UACCGG. Only one of the two DNA strands serves as a template for transcription. The antisense strands of DNA is read by RNA polymerase from the 3' end to the 5' end during the transcription. The complementary RNA is created in the opposite direction that is in the 5' to 3' direction matching the sequence of the same strand with the exception of switching uracil for thymine. The mRNA produced during transcription is complementary to the template DNA strand. So the mRNA produced during transcription is complementary to the template DNA strands with the exception that the uh, uracil for thymine. So here the template strand is ATGGCC. So the complementary will be A, A pair with T. But in case of uh, uh, RNA, uh, T is uh, switch with U, that is uracil. Then T paired with A. Next is G. G paired with C. Next is also G. G paired with C. Next one is C. C paired with G. Next is C. C paired with also G. So the U A C C G G. That is the correct answer. This directionality is because RNA polymerase can only add nucleotides to the 3' end of the growing mRNA chain. Next question. The type of sugar in RNA are option 1 triose sugar, option 2 tetrose sugar, option 3 pentose sugar, option 4 is hexose sugar. And the correct answer is option 3 that is pentose sugar. RNA is made of ribose sugar. Whereas DNA has a deoxyribose sugar. It is called due to the absence of one oxygen in the second carbon ribose. Or deoxyribose contain 5 carbon. So it is a pentose sugar. Next question. The longest primary transcript is generated by option 1 dystrophin gene, option 2 tintin gene, option 3 Neuromedin U, option 4, centromere protein A. And the correct option is option 1, dystrophin gene. The primary transcripts are the mRNA molecules created during DNA transcription prior to splicing or polyadenylation. Next question. Which of the following best describes the key function of helicase during transcription? Option 1, separation of the two DNA strands of DNA. That is, unwinding gives polymerase access to the strand. Option 2, cleaving methyl groups from an unwound DNA strand. Option 3, catalyzing the interaction between transcription factor and the DNA strand. 4 is relief of tension in the DNA strand to prevent breakage. And the answer is separation of two strands of DNA, unwinding, that keeps polymerase access to the strand. Helicases are required for separating two DNA strands so that the rest of the transcription can take place. Polymerase works on single strands of DNA, thus the bonds holding the double strands together must be removed. Next question. Which of the following subunits of RNA polymerase is solely required for initiation of transcription? Option 1 is sigma, option 2 omega, option 3 beta and option 4 is alpha. And the correct answer is option 1 that is sigma. The sigma factor is solely required for initiation of transcription. In fact, the sigma subunit will often fall off the enzyme during the elongation phase of transcription. Binding of the sigma factor is an important signal for transcription to begin. The other subunits are crucial to the elongation and termination phase. The only the sigma subunit is required for initiation of transcription.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन चूज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट जीन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ऑशुमन द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट इज आइडेंटिकल टू द टेम्पलेट डी एन एस्ट्रैंड एंड कंप्लीमेंटरी टू द कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड ऑप्शन टू द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट इज आइडेंटिकल टू द कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड एंड कंप्लीमेंटरी टू द टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड ऑप्शन थ्री द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट इज आइडेंटिकल टू बोथ टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड एंड टू द कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड ऑप्शन फोर इज नन ऑफ दिस एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन टू दैट इज ट्रांसक्रिप्ट इज आइडेंटिकल टू द कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड एंड कंप्लीमेंटरी टू द टेम्पलेट डी एन ए स्ट्रैंड ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर जीन ऑलवेज प्रोसीड फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द टू डी एन ए स्ट्रैंड दैट एक्ट एज ए टेम्पलेट द सो कॉल्ड एंटीसेंट स्ट्रैंड द आर एन ए प्रोडक्ट इज कंप्लीमेंटरी टू द टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड ऑफ द डी एन ए एंड इज ऑलमोस्ट आइडेंटिकल टू द नॉम टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड और द सेंस स्ट्रैंड और द कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड और इन्फॉर्मेशन स्ट्रैंड दिस नॉन टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड ऑल्सो नोन एज इन्फॉर्मेशनल स्ट्रैंड और कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड और सेंस स्ट्रैंड वेन रिफरिंग टू डी एन ए ट्रांसक्रिप्शन द कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड और द इन्फॉर्मेशनल स्ट्रैंड इज द डी एन ए स्ट्रैंड हुज बेस सिक्वेंस इज आइडेंटिकल टू द बेस सिक्वेंस ऑफ द आर एन ए ट्रांसक्रिप्ट प्रोड्यूस ओके ऑल द थाइम इज रिप्लेस्ड विथ यूरेसिल इट इज दिस स्ट्रैंड विच कंटेन्स कोडोन वाइल द नॉन कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड कंटेन्स एंटीकोडोन ड्यूरिंग ट्रांसक्रिप्शन आर एन ए पॉल टू बाइंड टू द नॉन कोडिंग टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड रीड्स द एंटीकोडोन एंड ट्रांसक्रिप्ट देयर सिक्वेंस टू सिंथेसाइज आर एन ए ट्रांसक्रिप्ट विथ कंप्लीमेंटरी बेसिस बाय कन्वेंशन कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड इज द सेंस इज द स्ट्रैंड दैट इज यूज वेन डिसप्लेइंग डी एन ए सिक्वेंस इट इज प्रेजेंटेड इन द फाइव प्राइम टू थ्री प्राइम डायरेक्शन Wherever the gene exists on a DNA molecule, one strand is the coding strand, that is sense strand, while the other is non-coding strand, anti-sense strand, anti-coding strand, template strand, or transcript strand. That is, coding strand is known as sense strand or informational strand, whereas the non-coding strand is known as anti-sense strand or template strand or anti-coding strand or transcript strand. Next question: Which polymerase is involved in transcribing ribosomal RNA except the 5S R RNA? Option one is RNA polymerase one. Option two, RNA polymerase two. Option three, RNA polymerase three. And option four is DNA polymerase one. And the correct option is option one, that is RNA polymerase one. The sole purpose of RNA polymerase one. in eukaryotes is to transcribe ribosomal rna with the exception of 5s rna the 5s r rna is transcribed by rna pol 2 rna polymerase 3 also transcribed t rna and other small rnas transcription of rna polymerase 2 are 5 prime capped polyadenylated and spliced to ultimately be translated to functional protein Which of the following are methods for termination of transcription in prokaryotes? Option one is release factor binding. Option two, rho dependent termination. Option three, hairpin loop that is stem loop formation. Now you have to choose the correct options. Option one is three only that is hairpin loop formation. Option two is one, two, and three that is release factor binding, rho dependent termination, and also the hairpin loop formation. Option three is one only, that is release factor binding, and option four is two and three, that is rho dependent termination and hairpin loop, that is stem loop formation. And the correct option is option four, that is two and three, that is rho dependent termination and hair hair pull hairpin loop form, that is stem loop formation, are the two methods for termination of transcription in prokaryotes. Rho mediated termination or hairpin loop formation are both common way to terminate prokaryotic transcription. The formation of hairpin loop disrupts the transcription machinery and DNA DNA RNA interaction, which allows termination to to transcription. Rho is a protein that is capable of binding single stranded RNA and terminating transcription. Next question. Which of the following is not dependent on C terminal domain of RNA polymerase two? Option one is mRNA splicing. 
option 2 5 prime capping option 3 polyadenylation and option 4 is none of the above and the correct answer is option 4 that is none of the above only mRNA transcribed by RNA polymerase 2 undergo 5 prime capping polyadenylation and splicing the C terminal domain of this polymerase serve as a binding site and docking platform for many of the enzymes that initiate this process. Moreover, experiments in which the C terminal domain is truncated show that mRNA transcripts are not capped, polyadenylated, and spliced. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.